All right, Browns fans. I thought that was a very winnable game. I said that last week. I was pretty sure that this was going to be, um, you know, us playing a trash quarterback on a trash team, and and it kind of looked like that for most of the game. Just as like literally all the games this year, we've pretty much had it figured out the entire game, and then at the end we just can't figure out how to seal the deal. And uh, and this is not unlike those games. I mean. We had it working out. I mean, running everywhere. We just could run. You know, we were running both guys just like we always do. Um, I think kind of always like I do at these in the end of these games, like Kevin Stefanski's play calling is, is a big part of this. And I really was worried when he was calling those timeouts with so much time left. But I was like, well, maybe we just have, you know, the need to run the ball a few times. And that's how we're going to get our offense going. So we're going to need more than just a two-minute drill. But... I mean, he got lucky, and we had a chance, and damn it if it wasn't Jacoby just messing up. That one pass that he messes up every game is always at the very end of the game. And, I, I mean, obviously Deshaun Watson should be more accurate or have more options and be more scary, but I just feel like as a game manager, this is what we needed last year, you know. We needed somebody like Baker or somebody who could just basically come in and just do the right things at the right times. And Baker just tried to do too much, and he always he always ended up paying for it. And that was kind of his problem until he got scared and couldn't take a hit. But, you know, Jacoby is very much settled. He doesn't try to do too much. And then all of a sudden he tries one time to do too much, and this happens. And I don't get it. I mean, we were just running the ball however we wanted. We had plenty of room. It wasn't like we were on, like, the 10-yard line or something. And we just absolutely were desperate to, like, have some kind of play where we couldn't spread the field by, with, by throwing to our receivers or something. I mean, we had two plays. We could have easily ran it one or two times and then just tried to kick and see if that was going to, you know, take us into overtime or something. But, but instead, you had him dropping back. He held onto the ball so long he got sacked. I mean, it was like the first time all game. Brilliant decisions. And then all of a sudden at the end, it's just like his brain stopped working. He just... He, he stood in there too long, and then he made a boneheaded pass, and here we are, two and two. But, you know, the bright side, you might be able to see it in the background here. The Steelers just lost to the Jets, so we're not the only people who lose to the Jets. That's kind of cool. I mean, Steelers are pretty terrible. They literally put in uh, their backup quarterback, and if you actually listen to the people on the TV, they're like, oh, uh, Mitchell Trubisky threw an interception, and stuff was rough, and then Kenny Pickett came in, and he just was the hometown boy. Uh, dude had two interceptions also, so I don't really know, like, was that better, having twice as many interceptions in Trubisky? Uh, uh, not to me. And then we saw the, uh, you know, Bengals shorted up, so they're going to be uh, tied with us, I guess, in the lead of the division. Um, and then there's the uh, Ravens, who, if you saw the end of that game, it, it, it literally, my, my frown after watching the Browns game was like, and then after watching the Ravens game, I was like, because they were so mad. They were big mad about the fact that they couldn't do anything. They didn't have any timeouts left. There was no way they could stop the game. And somehow, some way, I mean, Buffalo had to get one yard and they got it. And then it's a fresh set of downs. They could just do whatever they wanted. But man, Peters, everybody was so mad in that game. They got the L. I, I don't know. You know, you, you expect they would lose to Buffalo, but they were really winning the hell out of that game until the end when Buffalo came back. So, it is what it is. I mean, we're not in a terrible place. I don't love our schedule coming up. I kind of picked at the beginning of the year that we would lose to the Chargers. I did think that Justin Herbert would be much better than he's been this year, but I don't know, you know. I mean, he's been shaky. They did win a game today, I believe, but they've been struggling all year. So, you know, it might be that we do squeak out another win next week and, you know, we're going to come up against the Patriots at some point here who aren't having the most successful of years. And so there's still winnable games coming up here, but, like, this is winnable. The Jets are winnable. If we were 4-0 right now, like, we could be a lot more dangerous, a lot more ridiculous with our play calling. Uh, but, unfortunately, we're not. So now we have to kind of just stay conservative and try to really make sure we plan better. I mean... Miles Garrett obviously wasn't there. That was a big problem. I don't know how you roll your car like five times and then you somehow are okay to play the next week. And also that you're not drunk or on a racetrack. But I don't know. Anyway, that's what happened. And Clowney was out. I mean, we we're missing a lot of our key pieces. And to be honest, the way they're running the ball in the second half there on us, I was just thinking like, 
this is it. They're just going to run every play. And then all of a sudden we figured out how to stop them out of nowhere. I, I just don't know how that happened. But defense overall, you know, is good at stopping the pass. Like, we're not normally great. We're, we're, we're almost always better at the run defense. But this year we're sort of like kind of shaky on that end of things. So, I don't know. we got to get back to full strength. I really like what Njoku's doing. I mean, you know, he did fumble today, but for the most part, he's out there, like, putting every, putting the team on his back, trying to make every catch, and that run play of his, I guess, could have been blocked better, but I don't know. He's a big dude, but we already have much bigger dudes. And it was cool to see Jacoby, for once, was trying to scramble. I mean, it just looks so much better watching him scramble than Baker. Like, Baker, little bird legs, you just were always wondering if he would get anywhere before he got crushed, but... Jacoby, I mean, you saw him at the goal line today. He was kind of like, whoop, whoop, which way am I going, you know? I, I don't know, I don't know, uh, that way. And then the defender, like, juked out, didn't even know. Anytime you saw Baker run, he tried to do some things like that, but never really did much, you know? He was more known for his stupid high step and stuff that he did. I don't know, but anyway, so next game's, I think, winnable, but not easy, as easy as this game would have been. And I also think being at the top of the division is a good thing, but... I just don't know, you know, like less and less seeming like we're going to have questions when Deshaun Watson comes back. I thought after the first couple games that maybe there's going to be this like moment where we were like, well, what do we do? Jacoby Brissett's decent. But I just two times at the end of the game is the one time it's the times that he's thrown these interceptions. And he just it's always like right at the very last minute when I think in like his brain, he's thinking like, I'm going to be the one to win this. I'm going to have to do it all myself. And it just doesn't work. You know, somebody should have told him, just like they should have told Chubb not to run that touchdown in two games ago, that all we need to do is make a little space to kick this ball and keep the game going. You don't need to hit a home run. Plenty of time left. And then we just had to watch it all bleed off the clock while they were kneeling. It was stupid. Like, what a gamble that Kevin Stefanski played there with more than two minutes left. But we were rewarded. And we just squandered it away. And I, I don't know. So I honestly think that you know, we're getting better at managing the team and managing the game. And we probably will be better prepared later down the road here for, like, tougher opponents. But, but damn it, if we shouldn't just be 4-0 and right now. And, and I, I don't know, last year we were saying things like that. Like, oh, the Browns started out. There should be uh, – but, but in the end, what does it matter? If we're not that, we're not that. So uh, hopefully we can come back around, pull it together. Hopefully we got more health next week. I just, I just feel like we're so close all the time, and we're just not able to get it done. But nobody expected anything from us, you know? And I'm here. I'm here for those moments where we do well enough that I can go out and find some of these talking heads from the preseason who were like, oh, by the time Deshaun Watson comes in, they'll be lucky to have four wins. You know, we could have four wins right now. I could be playing those clips right now. We could be rubbing dirt in people's eyes right now. But no, we're not. We're the Browns. We're just like, we're just living in the factory of sadness and, and trying to just get on with our lives. So... I don't know, but please, let's get it together next week. Let's beat the Chargers. Let's just figure out how to not screw up in the end of the game. That's the only thing. Just figuring out how to do the right thing in the last two minutes of the game. Seems so easy. Spend all week planning for two minutes, but we can't do it, so we'll see.